Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Review Tech USA has deleted his 1 million plus subscriber YouTube channel. And the internet is blowing up about it. At least my algorithm is cooked. And I think more than anything, people are just confused. And I think that people realize that there's something going on with Rich's mental health. There's just, there's something not right with him. But there is one big point I want to make in this video. And before I make that, I just want to read a quote that we've all heard before that I think sometimes the internet in general just needs a reminder of, which is everyone you meet is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Be kind always. And I would add to that, if you can't be kind, don't drag someone down who's clearly not okay. Because clearly he cannot control himself sometimes when he gets offended by certain comments. And so, you know what? People always say, you make a YouTube channel, you open yourself up to criticism. Okay, so you know what? He deleted his channel and all 1 million subscribers, which I feel, I just feel compelled to talk about. I had to take a break from YouTube myself. I had to take a year off. And you know what? I didn't know if I was ever gonna come back. It wasn't planned, I'm gonna do one year and then come back. The time I stepped away from YouTube, I didn't even know if maybe I would want to come back someday. I couldn't even think of it. So I understand exactly how Rich feels. The only reason I didn't delete my channel is because I didn't have all these people hating on me. I had a lot of people that really cared about me. And believe it or not, I really cared about them too. I wanted to keep the YouTube channel there and I wanted to keep my Twitter somewhat active just so those people would know that I'm okay. Because I cared about them. And Rich cares about the people that feel that way about him too, which is why he's keeping the live stream channel alive. If I ever decided to walk away from YouTube permanently, I probably wouldn't delete the channel. But something a lot of people are missing that I don't think have faced a lot of adversity in their lives is that sometimes you've got to just hit the restart button. I spent half of my 20s in a hospital bed because of my cystic fibrosis until a new drug came out called Trikafta. And that drug came out in 2019, and that was the year where I finally had enough energy that I decided to start doing YouTube. Before that happened, I was in the hospital for two to four weeks at a time, getting pumped full of antibiotics, and then I would go out. And then as soon as I would get out of the hospital, like a week later, I would start getting sick again to the point where in a month, I'd be sick enough where I had to go in the hospital for all that time again. And I had less than a year to go. And I was accepting the fact that I will have lived my life without ever having done something as meaningful as what I wished I could have. And then I realized that because of my friends and my family and the impact I had on them, I didn't have to change the world. By what I did for my friends and family, I had achieved everything I ever needed to achieve. And I was willing to die happy. And as soon as I accepted that, that's when that medicine that came out. And then I was able to come to YouTube and spread my story, my message to lots of people. But I had to hit the reset button even after I made it on YouTube because life isn't constant. You go through ups and you go through downs. I'm happier than ever now. And you know what? I know I'm going to be really, really depressed again one day. But what happens when that happens is you need to make changes. And it's hard. And you need, you can't have the same routines and expect yourself to be able to make certain changes. So when he deleted this channel, he might not have done it for the right reasons. He might have done it rashly and he may very well regret it later. But that doesn't mean it was the wrong choice. And if you are so concerned, if you legitimately believe that Rich is having a mental health crisis, a mental breakdown, leave the guy alone. I'm not saying go to his channel and be fake nice if that's not how you feel. But just don't drag him down. At least don't be one more negative thought in the guy's head. If you were a fan of his old videos and that's why you're on the channel, realize that's the same person, but they're not in a high in their life right now. They're at a low and they need to make changes to get through. And that's really, really hard. And honestly, I don't think him keeping the live streaming channel is a good idea. He said he was going to take a break until election day. I think he should take a break 
for you know six months to a year. I think he should find a way to have an income that has nothing to do with online interaction. That's what I did, and it changed my life. Now, just because that worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work for Rich. Doesn't mean it's possible for Rich. And honestly, even though by giving that advice, I have like the best of intentions for Rich, I don't know his situation. But that's the same as everyone that's telling him what to do. He shouldn't listen to them and he shouldn't listen to me. He needs to find it out for himself. But I promise if he doesn't make more changes, that won't happen. Over the last few years, Rich has talked about so many times not wanting to do news on his channel. He talked about it constantly, how he wants to do more, how he wants to do these big retrospectives on different video games, on different timelines in the industry. And then he never does them, or when he does do one, it's half-assed and he can't put in all the time it needs to be a really good video. He can't organize his thoughts well enough to do it. And I see that, and it reminds me of in my life when I was at certain lows and I tried to change, and I would try to do too much at once. And literally, the, the way I got better what what worked for me the most recent time it was like pulling teeth it was so hard but i had to literally change one thing for weeks before i would add another thing and it would be the smallest littlest thing i would just drink a big glass of water every morning right when i woke up that was my thing and i wouldn't add anything else for weeks but then when i went to add the next thing which was stretching for 1 minute every day that's, and then that's all I added. But then when I added the next thing, the water and the stretching never felt like I was adding a third thing. It always felt like I was adding one thing because I let those one things become my routine. And then sometimes I would fall out of that. And I would have to start all over from the glass of water for weeks again. And it would take forever, but I would start over. And then eventually I get to the point where I was drinking water. I was stretching. I was working out. I was getting the calories I need to eat, the 3,000 calories that I had to eat through my mouth and the extra 2,000 calories that I had to eat through this feeding tube. And I was flushing out my port that was installed in my chest to get all my antibiotics. I started taking care of myself. I started going out, interacting every day. That was another one of my things was go outside for a walk for 20 minutes, just be outside. But... I would want to do all those things at once because every time I would reflect on my life, I was like, I need to do this. I need to do this. So I would try to do a bunch. And the only thing that worked for me was adding one thing at a time. But eventually that change happens. Real change happens. And I think Rich needs to do things one at a time. And sometimes that first thing isn't even the glass of water. It's removing yourself. From something. It's taking one thing away. And I think that's what Rich needs. 